If I were a betting man and I did my research on JJ, I would not call Luigi. I would go Diddy in the True, diddle. true. He did. Uh, JJ was able to take out Elegant. He does boldly claim that Diddy Kong wins the matchup. Diddy Kong, or sorry, JJ's primary practice partner is Luigi play. Yes. And his teammate, Starbase Fruit. So, yeah, we may see the Diddy Ditto instead then throughout this entire set. Only a best of three. Only best Only of three. Only doing uh, best of fives and finals. We won't get five games of Diddy this time. Oh, grabbing him right out of there, gonna go for the release. I actually kind of like that decision. Why do you like that decision, Mike? Uh, I mean, you 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 put Diddy Kong at a point where he pretty much has to up you right away. He has no he has no jump. And had he got that clap, had he was if he was able to two frame, like that's a dead Diddy Kong, and that's a lot easier to pull off because you know that he's gonna have to up you right away. Versus if you threw him, and now you're trying to find you're trying to read the direction versus knowing that it's coming from straight up. Well said. That was a good paragraph. Analyst. But in that paragraph, JJ went up to 139%, so this is not looking good for him. That's, uh, we were talking about how kind of one side of this matchup can turn out if it just ends up being a ledge trap. We've seen that in, like, the Zenodo versus Zero sets, where yeah. Zero just turns on his single player Diddy Kong experience trademark and just makes nasty stuff happen. A nice down tilt to Rar back air, cleaning up the stock. Down tilt knocking JJ a little bit too high for the up smash to confirm as reliably as James would like to say. And this is an interesting situation because now uh, where Schwapple was in JJ's shoes, now JJ has kind of taken the role of losing his stock first and now he has to kind of commit to this hard neutral win. Mm, and I, you know, while Schwapple was able to make some explosive offense happen, JJ's offense has never really been known to be super explosive. No, he just kind of grinds you out, right? Mm. Takes his time. And that's, that was something that we heard from Zero when he, he was interviewed a couple times about the Lucina pick where he thinks that Diddy Kong, like, he'll get his 10 damage, his 20 damage, he'll get it a lot, but he doesn't have that huge comeback factor. Right. You he have to he famously said Diddy was like a low reward character. And you know, in a game where Rage exists, Diddy might be one of like the lower, low, like on the lower half of beneficiaries of Rage if you had to make a tier list of characters that like Rage versus characters that really wish there wasn't. Absolutely. But that's, that's theory crafting for another day. We've got the, the timer is starting to click here for JJ, but just like that, finds that down tilt up smash. 62, 60 is like that number of extra credit where both pairs are like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like I, I didn't, I'm not in kill percent for him. I can still kind of bring this back. Like right now, 84, had he been at 84 right away? Definitely, that's, that's a much scarier potential. Because mm -hmm. now, now throws from everywhere are pretty much throwing you off stage with enough time for them to set up an edge guard. Unless you go for down throw. Into what? Uh, interesting option, but hey, let's let's roll with it. You know, that almost worked, and if it weren't for that dastardly battlefield... Oh, that for sure would have been a stop. Huh. I love James's uh, use of up smash out of shield. I think he's one of the best at decons at kind of bringing that out. Yeah, it's actually a reliably quick move. Yeah, hugely quick. I wanna... I don't remember the exact number, but I remember it's one of the fastest up smashes in the game. Yeah, it's not too slow. Like, and because it's multi-hit, it comes out quicker with the first hit, but that... Ledge Trump Bear, another one of the classics, sealing up that stock. And that's gonna be James going up on the board, one nothing so far. Yeah, so currently Tyroy sitting in a uh, winner's finals for the Schwapple winner. Swapple taking a nap hole over there in the corner. Shouts to Pusheen. <laughs> the Pusheen shirt, very classy. I didn't get to tell him that in person. I'll have to do that later. I, as you know, I'm a massive Pusheen fan. Flying takes a toll on you if you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. I think everyone from New Jersey is a little jet lagged today. Yeah, you can just look at you can look at them and you're like, wow, you guys look just gassed. And these guys are housing with JJ, by the way. Yes. Uh, the New Jersey team, so they might have already played this matchup a couple of times. <laughs> hey, two Who of them in the game are Diddy Kongs, so I should hope. <laughs> that is a house of Diddies. Ha house of monkeys, man. And then Biddy. Sorry. And Biddy, yeah. Like you got to deal with. Biddy's just got to deal with this matchup. <laughs> but show you, James trying to go off right now. Yeah, Biddy and the Diddies. That's a band. We came up with a band name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Biddy and the Diddies. I'm done, man. I'm getting off. <laughs> JJ's turn to get the ledge jump back air, putting James in a pretty rough spot and gets the grab, continuing this edge situation. JJ trying to say that he's the lead singer of this band right now. He's my show. He's got the hair to be the bassist. <laughs> you ask me. I take offense to that. I was a bassist. <laughs> You still got the hair to be a bassist if you were ever unretired, but right now, okay, looking for that angel drop. Smart backer coming back, protects himself. 
I guess James, what he thinks of the name Angel Drop. <laughs> he like takes offense to it. He's like, it's maybe the, it's the James Drop. Angel just made it look cool. And then tweeted about it a bunch. It's whoever tweeted it most. That's who got it named. That is true. Unfortunate misread on the banana is going to get JJ pu punished there. I think he thought both of them were his and he went to, to grab the second one. It didn't quite work in his favor. JJ here. Uh, now he's got a bunch of bananas. And waiting for the perfect opportunity to unleash them, but James' defense is good. Oh, JJ, no. please. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. There's the sheep. You guys don't know. JJ Rockets is a memer. Absolute top tier memer. Notorious. Top uh, five memer on the meme GR. Yes, and he made a compilation of him SDing 30 something times. He's going to yell at me. 32. The, me the meme global rankings. He just, he just yelled at me. JJ 32. is definitely top five. Yeah, he just yelled at me. 32. So uh, if you ever hear someone say beep beep to JJ, or in general, it's because he replaced beep beep on the sheep with him SDing. And that was certainly a very important SD. James looking to crawl ahead with it. And this is an issue that I've been seeing with JJ's gameplay all day, is where he's struggling to find these kills until high percentages. And it's part of why Schwaffel was able to stay in for so long. Right. 175 is not where you want to be when you have one of the most potent kill confirms in the game. Speaking of potent kill confirms, okay, not quite enough. I thought there'd be some, like, Rage is a hell of a drug <laughs> happening there. But not today. Not yet. Next one should probably do it. Oh, absolutely, but up to also, that's that's the move that you, you I always feel like Diddy's are just like kind of sad to kill with it. Like they're thankful they have it. They're like, man, I had down tilt and I had to kill with up tilt. You should see my Diddy. My Diddy like does up tilt to start combos. It's really silly. <laughs> but 130% is a very crooked number here for James, and he's looking in good shape to move on to play Tyra in winner's finals if he can finish up the stock and complete the 2-0. But JJ needs to win neutral probably like seven times at least. Yeah. To bring this back. I mean, let's say Diddy Kong gets about 15% out of a neutral win, but it doesn't matter because down tilt up smash, or banana up smash. Yeah, you won't have the opportunity. Get an extra charge on that, get a little extra zest, finish off the stock, and that's James moving on to winner's finales here at ignition number 85. Did I make that up? Uh, no, 85 is correct. Wow, I guessed right. Yeah. Look at me go. <laughs> but before that, guys, we're going to have a commentator switch and a short break, so definitely don't go anywhere. We have more Smash 4 action coming your way. See you soon.